In this presentation, you're going to learn how your local business will benefit from using Facebook ads just by using these three strategies. Facebook can be a bit complicated due to the number of advertising objectives and ad formats that you can choose from. Take note, however, that not all ad objectives will work for local businesses. Some objectives work great for online businesses, while some work best with mobile apps. You must have at least an idea of a good strategy, or maybe even a few strategies, that will work best for your local business. Check out the three strategies below. 1. Make people aware of your business. Depending on the size of your town or city, people may not know about your business, so you need to introduce yourself to them. One of the best ways to do this is by spending a few dollars on Facebook ads. You can choose the brand awareness or reach objectives to educate people about your business and what you can do for them. In your ad, make sure you clearly indicate where your business is located, what the nearest landmarks are, your contact details, and your business hours. Make it easy for people to find and contact you. 2. Sponsor an event. Sponsoring an event will depend on the nature of your business. If you're a restaurant, you may want to introduce a happy hour promo. If you're a bookstore, you may want to organize a book signing session with a well-known author. If you're a dentist, you may want to give away a free 10-minute consultation for 50 people. You can get creative with your event. You just need to make sure you're appealing to the right audience, that is, the people who are going to be interested in what you have to offer. 3. Use pictures of actual customers. Most ads on Facebook show stock photos, and you know they're stock photos because you've seen them in a million other ads. Using pictures or videos of your actual local customers will make your business more relatable to your target audience. They'll probably recognize the people on your ad, and it will more than likely pique their curiosity. And when they get curious, they'll find the time to visit your store. In this presentation, I'm going to show you the top three reasons why your business needs to advertise on Facebook. There are plenty of places where you can advertise your business. Google AdWords, Facebook Ads, Twitter, Snapchat, Native Ads, and so much more. Each platform has its pros and cons, but Facebook is the place to be for people who are serious about growing their business. So let's dive into the three reasons why you need to start using Facebook ads. 1. You can reach more than 2 billion people on Facebook. Facebook is the biggest social media network in the world right now, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. In fact, thousands upon thousands of new users sign up for Facebook every single day. Imagine getting your brand in front of millions or billions of people. 2. You can target just about anyone with your ads. With Facebook ads, you can choose to show your ads to a select group of people. You can target them by country, by region, by city, even by zip code. You can target people based on their age group, their gender, their language, their hobbies and interests, and so much more. You can include and exclude different demographics until you find your ideal audience. You can even create a custom audience based on your existing mailing list, the people who visited your website, courtesy of the Facebook Pixel, the people who've liked your pages, and more. If you want to target other people who have similar characteristics to your custom audience, you can create a look-alike audience. Marketers love this feature, especially once they've found an audience that converts like crazy, as they can essentially reach more of the same group of people. 3. Facebook ads are cheap and affordable. Setting aside a budget for Facebook ads is a must for serious business owners. There are so many types of ads you can create, and you can reach any number of people who fit your demographic requirements. And if you think you're going to be paying through the nose for it, then think again. Facebook ads aren't as expensive as Google AdWords, Bing ads, or native advertising. In fact, with the granular level of targeting you can do on Facebook that other platforms can only dream of, it's really quite surprising that Facebook ads are cheap. 
If you want to reach more people without going broke, then go with Facebook ads. Four tips to turn cold leads into paying customers using Facebook ads. In this presentation, you're going to learn how you can turn cold leads or people who don't know your business into paying customers just by using Facebook ads. Selling products or services to a cold audience is difficult. These people don't know who you are. They don't have a relationship with you, and they don't trust you yet. But with the right strategy, you can turn your cold leads into warm and hot leads. Here's how. 1. Choose the right advertising objective. There are quite a few objectives to choose from on Facebook ads. But when targeting a cold audience, it's best to choose either brand awareness or reach to help generate interest for your business. Remember, this is probably the first time they've heard of your business, so you have to take them by the hand and introduce your brand. Getting too aggressive by selling something to them the first time will turn them off your brand. 2. Produce content that shows you're an expert in your field. Promoting information blog posts, case studies, white papers, and other similar valuable content, and positioning your brand as an industry leader will work wonders for your business. People will appreciate the value you're offering for free and would be more willing to open up their wallets for your products and services. 3. Show proof that your product works. Testimonials and how-to videos are popular among cold audiences. If you've got a good product, showing proof that it actually works is good stuff. This is why video ads perform better than standard text ads. In videos, people can see your product in action. If your product is priced competitively, people will be more than happy to buy from you. 4. Let your audience get to know you so they'll trust you. There are plenty of businesses advertising on Facebook right now, but not everyone gets personal with their audience. Sure, they'll put up a nice ad using stock photos and videos, but putting on a behind-the-scenes video or anything that proves you are who you say you are is so much better. Even those who've never heard of your brand before will become curious about you and will read up on your business. Showing them who you and your team are will engage your audience and convince them you're not going to be running away with their money. In this presentation, you're going to learn five different ways that Facebook ads can help you grow your business. Whether you're running an online or offline business, investing in Facebook ads will help you get the word out about your business quickly and inexpensively. Here's how Facebook ads can help you. 1. Cost-Effective Solution You can advertise on plenty of other platforms, but none are as affordable as Facebook. You can set your own budget, Start advertising at $5 a day and reach the people you want to reach. It's not uncommon to see 100% or 1,000% or even 10,000% ROI from investing in Facebook ads. This is especially true when you do your homework and narrow down your audience to the right people. 2. Reach your target audience. With Facebook, you can go as narrow or as wide as you'd like with your audience. You can choose to target only people within a certain distance from your store's physical location. Or you can target anyone in the whole world. 3. Get traffic instantly. If you've been waiting for ages to get your website rank high on Google with nothing to show for it, then it's time to invest in Facebook ads. You can get traffic to your website as soon as your ad gets approved. And if you do your ads right, you may soon see more foot traffic in your brick-and-mortar business. 4. Build relationships with your audience. People may not instantly buy or accept whatever it is you're offering them because they don't trust you yet. But with a few well-spent dollars on Facebook ads, people will become more aware of your brand and your business. If you engage with your Facebook fans, you'll further increase the trust factor and people will be more willing to do business with you. 5. Possibility to go viral and get even more business. Crafting a catchy and memorable advertisement is tough, but when done right, the potential of going viral is huge. 
When people share your content with their network of friends, then it means you're doing the right thing and have targeted the right people. While not everyone may buy from you, you're basically getting free advertisement, which means more referrals and more potential revenue for your business. How Facebook Retargeting Can Help Ensure Positive ROI for Your Business In this tutorial, you're going to learn what Facebook retargeting is and how it can help you ensure a positive return on your investment. You've probably noticed this before. You visit a website for a few seconds, let's call it Website 1, read an article or something, and then close the tab on your browser. When you visit a few more websites, you'll notice Website 1's ad following you around. Have you experienced this? If yes, then you've been retargeted by Website 1. Retargeting is probably the most powerful tool that Facebook gives to its advertisers. To get started, all you have to do is install a piece of code known as the Facebook Pixel on your website. When the Pixel is up and running, you can then track the people who have visited your website. In your Facebook Ads Manager, when you set up your ad sets, there is a section that allows you to create a custom audience. You can create a custom audience of your website traffic and then target them with your ads. Since they've been on your website before, they would be familiar with your brand. With this in mind, you need to create more specific ads that will tell them what you want them to do on your website. If you want them to sign up to a mailing list, or sign up for a free trial, or buy your product, say that in your ad. Don't be vague with your call to action. Retargeting a warm or hot audience is not only highly effective, it's also very efficient cost-wise. Unlike cold audiences who've never interacted with your brand before, warm and hot audiences would be more receptive to your offer. You just need to hook them in with the right kind of offer that will address their pain points. Make your ad as relevant and as personalized as possible, so the person viewing your ad will engage and accept your offer. The more people engage with your ad, the lower your costs. With Facebook retargeting, you not only recapture the attention of the people who visited your site before, but you also get more opportunities to keep your brand fresh in their minds. Remember, there's a lot of competition on the Internet, so the more they view your brand as a trustworthy authority, the higher the chances they'll buy your products or use your services. How to build your email list using Facebook ads Ask any successful internet marketer why they collect email addresses, and they'll tell you that the money is in the list. The list they're referring to, of course, is their email list. If you want to know how to grow your email list, then you're in luck, because in today's presentation, I'm going to show you how you can build an email list using Facebook ads. Use Facebook lead ads. Advertisers who want to get qualified leads without making people fill out a long form find that Facebook lead ads convert extremely well. Lead ads are mobile-optimized, and Facebook has done an amazing job of making the sign-up process extremely easy. When an interested user clicks on your ad, their Facebook information is already pre-populated on the form, so they no longer need to manually fill out their name, email address, phone number, etc. All they have to do is just click on the Submit button and you'll have their details instantly. Boost your web content or blog post. One of the most popular ways to build an email list is by driving Facebook traffic to a blog post on your website. You then have an opt-in form pop up on the screen, or maybe your sidebar or the bottom of the post. Unlike Facebook lead ads, your target audience will have to enter their details manually. Now this can be either a positive or negative scenario. It's negative because some people may be turned off by having to fill out their details. On the other hand, it's positive because you'll know the people who signed up are those who are most interested in your products and services. When you drive people to your website, don't forget to have the Facebook Pixel installed first, so you can later retarget those who haven't signed up to your mailing list. 
Use a landing page. When driving Facebook traffic to a landing page, you would need to use an enticing lead magnet, such as a free ebook, a free case study, a 10 minute free consultation, a free trial, etc. An effective lead magnet will entice your Facebook visitors to enter their email address in exchange for your free offer. Not everyone will sign up, but for those who do, then you can be assured that these are high-quality leads, as these are the people who are interested in your offer. How to get started with Facebook ads on less than $5 a day If you think you need to set aside hundreds or thousands of dollars to advertise on Facebook, you're mistaken. In this presentation, you're going to learn how to get started with Facebook ads with a $5 a day budget. Even if you have the money to spend on ads, you should still start small. This is to help you minimize the very real risk of losing all your money while you look for the best demographic segment to market to. For example, on the first day, you spend $5 to show your video ad to a cold audience comprised of 30 to 34-year-old females based in Phoenix, Arizona. You could narrow it down further. The next day, you spend your $5 on 25 to 29-year-old females based in the same city. By the end of the second day, you should be able to see which demographic is responding to your ad set. You can do more tests at $5 per day until you find the best and most responsive audience. Alternatively, if you're working off a custom audience from people who have visited your website, then you can try showing them different types of ads for only $5 per day. When you find the winning ad set, that is, the most popular ad that gets you the cheapest cost per action, then you can create a look-alike audience and then show the same ad to them. At $5 per day, this will translate to $150 over the course of 30 days. It's not a lot of money. But if you test everything, you will find the winning ad set soon enough. The point is, you don't have to go broke just to find what will work best for your business. If you try to advertise on other platforms, $5 is not going to get you very far. But with Facebook ads, there are plenty of case studies on the internet of people who have struck gold and seen returns anywhere from a few hundred percent ROI to several thousand percent ROI. When you see profit coming in from your Facebook ads, you can reinvest it to show your ads to more people. In a short period, you can go from $5 per day to $100 per day and further increase your chances of pocketing even more profit for your business. The 5 Facebook Ad Formats You Should Use For Your Online Business When advertising on Facebook, you can choose from many different types of ad formats. But which ones should you use for your online business? In this presentation, you're going to learn about five of the most useful Facebook ad formats you should be using for your online business. You can use a combination of these formats, or you can split test and see which produces the best results. 1. Video Ads one of the most effective and cheapest advertising options on Facebook is video ads. If you've got an interesting story to tell, or a product or service you know will benefit your target audience, then you should try using a video ad. Keep your video short, succinct, and interesting to catch your audience's attention. You can get video views for a fraction of a penny, and you can get an excellent return on your investment for every video view you pay for. 2. Lead Ads If you want to get higher conversions from your audience, try using lead ads. The traditional way of capturing leads is by sending your audience to your website, where they have to fill out a lead form. Thankfully, with Facebook's lead ads, all your audience has to do is to tap on your ad, review the pre-populated form, and hit Submit. Lead ads make it so much easier for your prospects to sign up to your list. 3. Image Ads As the old saying goes, a picture paints a thousand words. An attractive, high-quality, and eye-catching image is what you need if you want people to pay attention to your Facebook ad. 
The image should accurately represent what you're trying to convey in your ad copy. Try to use original photos, as stock photos, especially those from free stock photo sites, are overused and look really cheesy. 4. Offer ads. People love discounts and promo codes. So if you're running a sale or promotion, then you should try using an offer ad. Make the offer irresistible and let your audience know they're going to miss out on a great deal if they don't act quickly. 5. Collection ads. If you have a product catalog, try using collection ads to reach your target audience and boost your sales. When people click on your ad, it will pop up full screen. So make sure you use high-quality visuals to demonstrate your products and their corresponding benefits. Top 7 Facebook Advertising Facts You Probably Didn't Know With over 2 billion people actively using Facebook every month and thousands more signing up every minute, it seems that everyone who's ever been near a computer or smartphone knows what Facebook is. But you probably don't know the seven Facebook advertising facts we're going to be sharing with you in this presentation. 1. You can advertise on Instagram. Instagram was bought by Facebook in 2012. If you'd like to promote your ads on Instagram, you'd need to do so via Facebook ads. You can choose the Instagram option in the Ad Placement section of Facebook Ads Manager and Power Editor. 2. Facebook ads are way, way cheaper than Google AdWords. Google is king of search engines, but Facebook is king of social media. With the right mix of audience targeting and ad creativity, you can get clicks and leads for a fraction of a penny with Facebook ads. 3. You can easily create a custom audience. If you have an email list or enough data on your Facebook pixel, which you need to install on your website, then you can create a custom audience and target these people with your ads. 4. You can even create a lookalike audience. If you've got a winning audience, that is, an audience with high conversion rates, then you may want to reach more of the same people. You can do this by creating a lookalike audience. Facebook will look for people who match your winning audience. 5. Organic reach is declining. As people add more friends, like more pages, and join more groups, their Facebook news feed is bombarded with new posts and updates. This translates to a decline in organic reach. Paying for ads is the best way to get your content noticed quickly by your fans and your target audience. 6. You can change your budget anytime. If you want to test how Facebook ads work, you can spend a few dollars just to see how your audience will react. You can split test until you find the best performing ads and then scale your budget accordingly. 7. There are over 5 million advertisers on Facebook. It might seem like a lot of advertisers, but when you consider there are over 60 million active business pages, then you can see there are plenty of opportunities for your business to make a nice profit too.